starting any multimedia video content or YouTube channel means you're going to need certain things. A decent computer, a camera, and a microphone are typical, but you could also do just about all of that on your phone. But creating a tech channel like mine requires the computer route. And what if you want to record on more than one computer at once? Or maybe you want to record from your console or your phone. In this video, we're going to look at a piece of hardware for doing just that. And even better, one that works for Linux. I'm talking about the Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus external capture card from Avermedia. That's coming up right now here on DS Tech Media. Hello, hello, I'm Jay and this is DS Tech Media, a technology channel where we cover everything from hardware, software, and everything tech, but specializing in Linux and open source. So like I said before, doing this uh, type of a tech channel means I have to be able to record my screen and that's simple enough, but if we want to live stream or record gaming footage or anything extra like that, it changes things a lot. Recording while gaming or streaming adds a lot of overhead, even for a decent computer. But an easy workaround is to use two computers, one for the gaming and one for the capturing. Uh, one of the first videos I ever did was a hardware tutorial and review of a Corsair liquid CPU cooling system for my gaming computer, which is powered by a Radeon GPU. I used that rig for recording and producing all of my early videos but I now record with an NVIDIA Quadro which is able to use NVIDIA's NVENC encoders that significantly reduces the overhead but at the same time the Quadro GPU is a workstation class graphics card and it's not nearly as powerful as my Radeon GPU when it comes to gaming so it's it's not really suited for high-end games the obvious way around this is to use both at the same time so I started looking for a capture card that would work with Linux and I was led to the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus. And I'd like to shout out Gardner the Linux Gamer because I saw that he uses this exact same capture card. Okay, so here we have the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus with 4k pass through the 4k pass through part means that you can run a 4k video into it and it will re-encode it to 1080p at 60 frames per second and allow the 4k signal to pass out to the display that it was originally headed to i picked this up uh, i think about a year ago at best buy for either 160 or 180 dollars and inside you have the actual unit itself you get a decently long eighth inch headphone jack style audio cord a ruggedly made USB 2.0 to micro USB cord that's pretty long and a one foot standard HDMI cable. And here we have uh, two extra audio inputs. One is for your game group chat and the other is for uh, your commentary, I believe. Around back here, you've got the micro USB connector that runs to your computer your HDMI in and HDMI out and there is also a micro SD card slot around front you have a plus and minus switch for volume up and down and then a operation mode toggle switch 
to the far right is the transfer mode which basically allows the capture card to act as a storage device the center selection allows you to run in PC free mode where you record directly to your SD card and to the far left is the standard PC capture mode for capturing directly to a computer. There's also a Avermedia brochure for their other products and they give you this little quick start guide that shows you how to get up and running and all the basic functionality. Okay, so now we've seen everything that is in the box. And as I mentioned before, the Live Gamer has uh, three distinct modes. Two for recording, the PC mode and the PC free mode. So it really is a, a portable device. You could take it somewhere remote and hook it up to a, another uh, computer and record straight to the SD card and then come back and use the uh, transfer mode to work with the files later on your computer. And the underlying technology that makes the Live Gamer uh, work so easily with Linux is called V4L2 or Video for Linux and that's a collection of device drivers and an API for supporting real-time video capture and it supports USB webcams, TV tuners, and related devices standardizing their output so programmers can easily add video support to their applications. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you how easy it is to use the Live Gamer with OBS. So uh, here we are in our OBS and to add it as a source all we have to do is go down here to sources, hit the plus or add icon and we want a video capture device or V4L2 as it says here and we would give it a name in my case uh, I can add existing because I already have it here as LGP LGP2 it is simply a video capture device like my camera and here we have the properties dialog I am capturing elementary OS on my laptop and we of course have all of these settings which are uh, standard for V4L2 devices however a lot of these are not actually changeable with the Live Game Reportable and it is literally as simple as that to add the Live Gamer to an OBS scene and uh Originally, I had planned to uh, capture my PlayStation 3 with some maybe playing The Last of Us or Silent Hill Remastered, but unfortunately, I was unable to do that because of HDCP protection, which is basically a form of DRM that prevents you from recording copyrighted signals and this has happened to me so far with uh, an Android device and now with the PlayStation 3. On the PlayStation 4 you can actually disable HDCP within the system settings but it is impossible on PlayStation 3 so the only way around it would be an HDMI splitter that strips uh, HDCP and that's technically illegal but I figured we'd still do a little bit of gaming anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and run Limbo
Now, if you've never played this game before, I highly recommend it. It is a true classic. It's been a little while since I played, so I am a bit rusty. And we're going to try another game here. This is also a native uh, Linux game. It's a little bit more graphics intensive, so I'm not exactly expecting it to run perfectly. Whoa. That was so surreal. Yeah, so we're getting like... But he could be talking about photography. 10, 16, 21 okay. frames per I'm second. Inside. Everything's cool. I am okay. Oh, uh, this isn't exactly a gaming Shout. computer. From color to cure um. Now, can you give me an example it's of a using photographer a who perfectly captured the free Ryzen FX 9800P APU. Diane Arbus. There you which... go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by is the eyes a, of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? Decent processor, especially on Linux. Shh, shh, shh. But it's Keep that to yourself. not Seriously, a though, gaming I processor. Frame one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. It's an APU, so and it has one of you uh, do that to me. Uh, Isn't that too easy? Entry level discrete too graphics obvious? built in with what a if processor. Chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence. She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. Look at this crap. How can I? And also, here's a little demo of running LNNS. And yeah, as you can see, it's capturing wonderfully, and it's pretty much a no-hassle system. Uh, you could also technically use the Live Gamer Portable with uh, VLC, as it can open uh, capture devices, or really just any uh, Linux software that supports V4L2. And here, I just wanted to show you uh, the Live Gamer appears as an audio device in Pulse Audio Volume Control. And it has only uh, input system. And real quick, I'm going to uh, switch it over to transfer mode. And there we go. 32 gigabyte volume. And I, I think this is basically like... Uh, the default directory of sorts and there we have two videos and this video I recorded in the PC free mode of the live gamer with this mode you essentially have a 
portable mobile studio as long as you can get around the uh, DHCP issue. It's very convenient for gaming or content creators in general. It allows you to record content on any device without needing to run resource intensive applications like OBS. And here from the other side we can see how it appears as a, another display to the laptop and it really is uh, that simple and well there you have it my little review and demonstration of the Aver Media Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus for Linux uh, at $160-$180 it's, it's not too pricey Overall, I'd say it's uh, definitely worth it. It is something that I very much need as I'm going to be using it to record a desktop running uh, audio video Linux for my guide to audio and music recording and production on Linux part two. Check that video out when it's available and part one is already available. I'm pretty proud of that one. But yeah, I would highly recommend the Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus for Mac, Windows, or Linux users. But if you're a Linux user and you want a sure thing, this is definitely the way to go. As always, there's uh, some drawbacks, and that in this case would be you do not get the uh, software that Avermedia offers for their capture products one is rec central which is uh their streaming and capturing utility but i mean let's be honest most people are just going to use obs anyways uh, i might do a video about running that in a, a windows 10 vm to see if uh, that's possible but the live gamer portable has a lot of uses uh, you can use it to record devices when you're away from your computer it's a great dedicated capture device it's also kind of a convenient uh, usb mass storage device anyways uh, that's what i got i want to thank you for watching please like share and subscribe leave me a comment let me know what you thought about it and please remember to check back. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.